Oh baby, did they just drop a major deuce of information right on our chest. I'm really excited to share this weekly update with you guys, so let's just dive straight in. We have a couple confirmed dates and times for you all. Friday, September 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific, the King's Fall Raid will be available for everyone. As for the actual launch of the DLC, it is going to drop at 2 a.m. Pacific on the 15th. Moving on over to the more important information. You maybe want to be sitting down for this, but if you've bought Destiny, whether you pre-order the Taken King or not, we're sending you into the Crucible to experience new modes of battle on every brand new map. One thing to note, you won't have the use of your new super abilities yet. You'll have to visit the class Vanguard in the Taken King to earn your new subclass. For now though, you can and should check out the new slate of maps on offer and the two new modes. This they are calling the Crucible Preview Event. This will take place from September 8th to September 14th. Go and get yourself an early taste of some Rift and follow it up with a heaping helping of mayhem. So, this technically is a test drive. For those that want to, the final week leading up into the DLC launch, you can experience the two new game types and the new maps without actually having the pre-order. And it's all a business tactic. It's all to give you guys a little taste of it. It's like, yo, hey, I got these free cocaine samples. It's on the house. <laughs> Next day, back there, ready to zipper kiss you for some seconds. You know, it's a great practice, it's great business, but that's what it is. It's there to give you a taste of what you're missing out on if you do not pre-order it. But either way, it's a very, very, very cool thing to experience. And the best part about this is we get to experience it with the things that we're used to. Unfortunately, I doubt there's going to be any Taken King weapons. And of course, they mentioned that there are not going to be any of the new supers available. But you do get to play the new maps and take those for a spin. Some of the more important information coming in this September 8th launch of Weapon Patch 2.0. A quest screen will be added to your menu. You can track all active quests. Abandoned quests can be recovered in the Hall of Guardians, and Year 1 activities have been converted over to the quest system. As for bounties, the important information are, bounty slots will be increased to 16, which is pretty awesome to be honest. Now, what's changed in the tower? Collections have been added to the tower. Emblems slash shaders can be found near Ava Levante. Ships can be found near Amanda Holiday. Exotic armor and weapon blueprints will be added to the tower. You want to have the blueprint for all the exotics you own in your collection. Report to the Vanguard in the Hall of Guardians. Inventory. Modes of light will be used to grant XP to weapons and armor. Class specific armor materials will be deprecated in favor of a unified armor material. Vanguard Quartermaster Roni9940 will exchange old materials for armor material. As a final kind of heads up of things that need to be taken into consideration from them, they say complete those year one bounties. Don't delete characters or dismantle items just yet. Try the year one campaign again. Jump into the crucible for some new action. Try your beloved auto rifles again. Destroy your remaining wolf packs and loot their chests for either keys. Complete your house of wolves grimoire as it applies to hunting in the wild. And complete your moments of triumph where the time has been extended to the 14th. Now what is leaving when you download the 2.0 update? Vanguard and Crucible Marks. Activities where you previously earned Vanguard and Crucible Marks will now grant Legendary Marks. On Tuesday, your current Vanguard and Crucible Marks will be converted into Faction Commendations. The Elder Cipher will no longer drop upon completion of the Skullless Challenge Arena in the Prison of Elders. The exotic items offered with the Elder Cipher will now have a chance to drop from the Prison of Elders treasure chest. And that is pretty much all I felt like offering up to you guys. If you want to find out and read some more on this, I will leave a link down in the description below so you can get in there and just read it all for yourself and maybe notice some things that you may or may not have heard from me. Thank you guys for your time. Be sure to subscribe here, and I can't wait to show off some of these new things in the future. Take care, guys.